From time to time, it's very useful to be able to capture input from the keyboard, specifically when testing. And you want to be able to make a decision based on the captured input, option one, two, or three. Or maybe you want to type in a URL for being able to go out and fetch something from the internet. There are various different reasons why you would want to actually capture input from the screen. So let's have a look and see how we can do that. There are two variables that I'm going to need up front. One is going to be a character that it's going to be capturing from the keyboard. And the other one is going to be an array of characters or a string where I'm going to just push those characters that I got from the keyboard onto to make one word or one sentence or one completed string. Now at this point in time, SDR, my final string is going to have rubbish in it, so I'm going to go ahead and clean it out. Now I want to keep on capturing input until a carriage return is hit. So I'll do it like this. Now let's capture the key. Get char returns an integer, which is going to be the key. Now this is not a blocking function. In other words, it's just going to go ahead and spin here. So we'll need to cater for that. So what I've got over here is we're going to capture a character. Now remember it's not blocking. In other words, if no character is found, then it's going to be 0 hex ff. However, if a key was pressed, it's going to be that actual character, in which case we'll just concatenate it to our string, and then we will also print it out as a character. Notice that there's no new line over here, so that we can actually see what we're typing on one line. And finally what we'll do is we'll just put a little delay in here, That'll make sure that the uh, the watchdog timer doesn't uh, get upset with us because we're sort of sitting in an infinite loop. And it also gives the keys time to respond and get an up press. In order to do that, we'll put in our uh, free hour task tasks, and then we'll just do a VTAS delay. Now, if somebody does put the carriage turn, then we've got our completed string. And over here, we will put in uh, our character turn. All right, let's go ahead and give this a try. Uh, it's complaining to us because we're missing some header files. Memset and string length are both imported by the string header file. Alright, so let's start typing. This is my input. And then if I hit character, you type this is my input. <laughs> 